The reason I started out with modeling tutorials is because it's the very basics of what we call 3D in my opinion. I didn't want to overwhelm beginners with UV editing, shading, lighting, rendering etc which are all crucial parts of 3D modeling. I received requests about how I did my lighting and applied materials, so I decided to make a quick and easy video on them. You might get disappointed because my method is totally simple and basic, but I suggest you delve into each area more in depth once you get the overall picture, and decide which area you are most interested in and want to be an expert. Let's get started. I'm going to delete the default light and camera since we want to create them ourselves later on. I'll leave the default cube. Let's take a look at my snap options. I have the increment and vertex mix and have absolute grid snap checked. Let's move the cube up while pressing control for grid snap. We need a floor so press shift A to add a plane. Scale it in edit mode and extrude this edge up in the Z axis. Think of this process as making a backdrop in a studio. We don't want this sharp edge so press Ctrl B to bevel and increase segments. Shade smooth. Let's add a camera now. Orbit around to how you want to see the object in camera view and press Ctrl Alt Numpad 0. This will align the camera to view. You can press numpad 0 or orbit to get out of camera view. As you can see, pressing numpad 0 will toggle the camera view. There's also what's called lock camera to view in the view panel. If you check this, orbiting won't get you out of camera view. It will orbit the camera instead. You can see a red dotted line around the box when it's checked. I use this a lot to manipulate the view so I've assigned a shortcut to toggle this option. Do you see the difference? You have to practice and get used to it. Let's add a light, but before we do that, let's talk about HDRI environment texture. I've put the link in the description so you can download HDRI files there. It's an easy way of adding realistic light to your scene, so let's do that first. Go to render preview. We have no lighting yet so things look pretty dark. Click on the Shading tab and choose World from the drop-down list. Press Shift-A and search for Environment Texture. Open the HDRI file you've downloaded. Connect Color to Color. Now you have instant realistic lighting. Let's add a material to our cube. First, let's take a look at my color management options in Render Properties. I have Standard for View Transform and Medium High Contrast for Look. Go back to Object and click on our cube. It already has a material. Let's delete it and add a new one. You can use Shader Editor or Material Properties to your right. Try changing the color. Let's take a look at metallic and roughness. When you add a material, metallic is set to 0 and roughness is set to 0 0.5. I usually just play with these two properties. I told you it's simple, right? Try reducing the roughness first. You can see that when it's 0, the object looks reflective.
Let's put it back to 0.5. Now increase metallic to 1. It's shinier but not reflecting much. But if you decrease roughness, you'll see that it becomes reflective like metal glass, whatever that means. What I'm trying to say is, don't try to understand exactly which value of each property is the right material for your object. Just play with it and settle for what you like. It will make your life much easier I'm sure. In the beginning, just play with base color and metallic roughness values. Later on, you can study more in depth about transparency, glass, emission, etc. Finally let's try adding our own light instead of HDRI. You might like that result better, disconnect HDRI and shift A to add an area light. Move it up and increase size. Change pivot point to 3D cursor and rotate a bit in the x-axis. Go to top view and shift D, then right click to duplicate. Let's rotate in the z-axis. Let's increase power for both lights. You can play with color as well if you'd like. Change the render engine to cycles. I use the cycles engine for my final renders even though EV is faster especially for my 750Ti graphics card because I don't want to tweak all those EV options and also because I think cycles results look better. Hope this video was helpful for those of you who may have been confused or overwhelmed by all the options for lighting and shading and whatnot. Thanks for watching and please subscribe if you haven't. Have a wonderful day guys.